Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the beautiful people, which is you. Welcome to Mostly Walking, where we are going to continue our journey through King's Quest VI. My name is Sean Plott. And my name's Bill Grainer. And my name is Sean Bouchard. And welcome to Mostly Walking, the show where we're going to go through the greatest games ever made. The old school adventure genre. Oh my god. Now see, I want to I let everyone know that uh, before these shows... I see Sean and Bill about half an hour before we go live, but despite the fact that we're playing old crappy games, it's a surprisingly difficult technical setup. So I don't actually get to ask them how they're doing or anything. They're like, how are you, Sean? I'm like, uh, good. Listen, can you count to ten at the same time as Bill? I need to balance audio. So this is where I get to find out how they are. Bill, how are you? How was your last week? And what are you drinking? All right. Well, I'm pretty good. This last weekend, we finally had our house together enough to have guests over, so we had, like, Ooh. three dinner parties, basically, like, with <laughs> visitors, and one funny thing is that uh, our friends brought their little kids, and we found out that um, we actually have little kid toys readily available that we've purchased for ourselves, <laughs> so that actually makes it easier. I guess it's just a game design, just game designer things, so but... Uh, Oh, are you talking yeah. about like little prototyping things like uh, glittery buttons and like just chess pawns with no chess board that are just available to be fillers? <laughs> I do have chess pawns. I have, yeah. I have three sets of chess pawns with no board. I have that too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. So for any of you who don't know, so here's an here, important thing about game design. If you ever want to test a game, you don't make the fucking game. You, you build a prototype in the easiest medium possible, which is very often a piece of paper with squares drawn on it, little pawns, and stuff written on note cards. Just the fastest thing that you can do. Um, and so, you know, I think anyone who's in design just has like a prototyping kit that has a bunch. It looks just like a bunch of crap. You just look like a hoarder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then you push these little things around a paper. But, yeah, so like when a kid comes over, it's... You know, we just dump a bunch of crap on the floor, and they go nuts. And it, it's and, all uh, choking hazards. It's great. <laughs> that's it, right. But, that's but they're right. glittery, multicolored choking hazards. <laughs> that's a good band name. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> glittering, multicolored choking hazards. And I was like, yeah. Oh, I love. I don't even know how you say that acronym, but yeah, my favorite thing about it is how it it refuses to roll off the tongue. Like yeah. everybody's gonna trip over that name. That's yeah. gonna be hard. Like in even people who've only ever spoken English and have no excuse. <laughs> but Bill, I, right. I I saw you take a swig of what you're drinking today. Yeah, that's my segue. Uh, Twilight Summer Ale from Bend, Oregon. Oh, nice. Wow. T Twilight Summer Ale. Yeah. I, 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 I like a one-syllable city. Yeah. You know, because especially in fantasy games, it's always like five to ten. Right. Like Galandria. Um, well, I just thought of a pun. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. The, uh, what did the pirate say <laughs> to the prostitute? I don't know, Bill, because that's just a very specific question, but I can't wait for the answer. Bend, Oregon. <laughs> oh, God, Bill. Bill, that's... <laughs> Bill, that's a joke for an audience of the population of Bend, Oregon, and maybe this well. <laughs> but the, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, Bill. Oh, no. Because it, it, the, the pace at which syllables were coming out was slowing down, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> but, I but I love it. Sean, Sean, how, how are you? How was your week, and what are you drinking? I'm good. Uh, my, week, my week has been really good. Uh, I'm, I'm working on a bunch of projects. I got to actually do some coding. I've been caught up in, like, grant writing for a long time, um, which is you know, a thing that you have to do sometimes, but um, I've been, like, doing design and coding, and it's been fun, so I'm psyched. I'm excited. So I know I that am... you... 
you're largely focused on educational research games, uh, as yeah. many people don't know, but as I just kind of throw out there, like, that's how we there talk to each other. Yeah, like you do. Like, yeah. you know, I just, <laughs> I would give unusually long intros to my questions in case anyone, you know, <laughs> let's just pick something randomly here, like if this is a live stream, I don't know. But, okay. um... I know you do, like, educational research games, so, like, you've been using probably a lot of buzzwords like scaffolding, um, learning, siloed. efficacy, yes, yeah, siloed. What are, what, are, what are some buzzwords that you think are some choice buzzwords? No, totally. Self-efficacy is probably my favorite. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 what else we got? What else we got? We got um, in, enrichment. Enrichment oh, is always cool. good because it means pretty much anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Great. Uh, what about the, the 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 transfer of knowledge one? Is that still a thing, or, or you know, transfer yeah. of knowledge from the game to the real life? What about it's... evocative knowledge objects? <laughs> oh, <laughs> boom! That's a good band name too. <laughs> that EKO's. and for EKOs. yeah, EKO. That's actually it's not a flashlight. It's actually a term that we heard a lot <laughs> in college. So I'm really glad that you're talking. Actually, what so so what what is self-efficacy? Because I know I've used it like a lot when I was in educational research game stuff. So I know, I, don't know I know. I mean. Like it's, it, it's like paradigm, right? It's like it gets yeah. tossed around so much that you start using it, even if you don't totally 100 percent know what it means. But like <laughs> paradigm, if you know what it means, it's actually a really useful term to like be able to use. So self-efficacy is um, uh, your belief that you can change, that you can improve yourself. So we, we make games that, uh, that try to improve uh, kids' self-efficacy, which makes them think that they can, uh, that gives them the confidence to sort of like keep trying, keep doing stuff. So it's the positive form of delusion. Is yeah, that right? Exactly. Like, exactly. Okay. Exactly. No, it's, it's, I mean, so like, actual, <laughs> it's not actual efficacy. It's not like, it, it's uh, it's not the bit where it improves their ability to do something. Uh, it's just the part where the, it improves their ability to think they can do something. Oh, oh is it like lear Sean? Is that like learning how to learn? It's like learning how to learn. Yeah, it's it's a lot like that actually, and it's actually really important. I'm 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 poking fun at it, but it's right. like you know, if your self-efficacy is low, then you don't try to do anything uh, because you just think you just give up, right? Yeah. Um, it's actually really related to uh, the flow diagram. Oh, yeah. So, oh. Uh, yeah difficulty versus... Uh, it's, 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 level of challenge. Yeah, 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 difficulty yeah. versus Oregon, I think, was the, uh, <laughs> was yeah. the Supreme Court case. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> Jack difficulty versus the Supreme Court of Oregon. <laughs> no, you're out of Oregon. <laughs> It's not well, even a joke. It's just a word. It's not. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But, but you know, I think I, I would like to welcome all to if this is your first time watching because we do a little brief intro at the start. We're going to be stepping back into King's Quest VI, which I have as just a loaded screen over here to my right. And uh, you know, I to, to clue everyone in, we were battling copyright mountain which was this glorious relic of the past and it was interesting trying to get to the top of copyright mountain just involved a lot of going through the manual that was like fantasy-esque password protection i mean sean i would love your thoughts on where we are in the game and also what you're drinking i forgot i interrupted uh Oh no worries. It's it's super boring because uh, we got we got a little bit caught up on uh, copyright mountain last week. Mm -hmm. um, so we didn't actually get to the part of the game that's inspired by Greek mythology. So I'm uh -huh. I'm continuing to drink ouzo <laughs> in, in hopes that we will get there someday. Someday we will get there. I actually think it's I think we're really close to it. I think there's like a hmm. scary labyrinth right where we are. And, so. and and I gotta ask Bill, what are your thoughts on where we're at in the game and where you want to be? <laughs> where am I at in the game and where would I want to be in the game in five years? <laughs> 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 I think I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're we're keeping a pretty good clip, uh, and uh, I think we've been to several several islands. We've been to all of them, right? 
Um, I think so, yeah. The ones that we can see, yeah. Yeah. There um, might be more secret islands. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, are we in Act 2 yet, do you think? I, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't think the game will ever let us know. I think it will just suddenly end. <laughs> and we'll just have to, we'll have to just be okay with that. Because King's I Quest so. Seven definitely had that feel. Um, That's well, true. Well, yeah, because, you know, in given that we are in King's Quest, I uh, I am having some Crown Royal Black nice. for this evening. Nice. nice. So I I will not, any time the magic word is spoken, I'm just uh-huh. going to take a sip because I, I need to still do a show. <laughs> you don't want to die, yeah. Yeah, I don't right. want to just like, all right, I'm going to do a shot every time they say Alexander. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of which, <laughs> chat, while we're, while, while we're getting loaded back in, chat, if you could please let us, just tell us some suggestions of the word of the day, what we have to take a drink after. Oh, yeah, and that's right. This is where we were originally, where this will eat a berry. Stranger, trust yeah. me. Think of what I'm offering you. <laughs> right. Remember, we learned that every time someone's nice to you, they want to kill you. Mm. <laughs> Grabbing That's at the old the lady lesson. wouldn't solve anything. That the old the woman has a pleasant a grandmotherly face, but something about her makes Alexander uneasy. Okay. Good. That's a good warning. All right, Sean. You know, Sean, I'm yeah. curious about the mountain that's that's up there. Oh, like, let's... all right then. Stay tied to the ground like a load of lead. See if I care. You, 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 human. Well, that's not conspicuous. The no. old woman just disappeared in a cloud of smoke. Perhaps those berries are even more powerful than she led Alexander to believe. Even the narrator is trying to get us killed. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Well, I don't get what this. It's actually a, a unreliable in a very different way kind of narrator. Let me. In the distance, Alexander can see the peak of a majestic mountain rising into the clouds. Okay. Let me try to right. talk to the mountain. There's no okay. one to speak to here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Good. You know, Straight up. I gotta, I gotta go ahead and just roll with the words selected by chat. This will be a one-time thing. But the word that they want is lamp. Do you think that we can get away with lamp? Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir. Now, technically, there's that guy who says old lamps for new, but we also have a lamp in here. So just as an example of how this game works. Alexander is carrying an old, battered hunter's lamp. The lamp oh, is empty. Oh, yeah. Uh, lamp. Hmm. <coughs> Jesus. Are you, are you okay, are Sean? Locked tight. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. He obviously wants to keep something out or something in. Ominous. Oh, King's Quest Six by J.J. Abrams. <laughs> are there? Are, is there writing above the door, Sean? Can, can we oh. inspect that a little bit closer? Alexander is standing at the top of tall cliffs. To the north is the peak of a mountain rising to meet the clouds. To the left is an ominous set of bolted doors. Okay. Okay. Wanted, I'm gonna see if I can okay. actually walk left, and then Bill, I want your guidance as to. Okay. Bill, help knock, me out here. Knock on the door. Can you knock on the door? Have we tried to interact with it yet? Let me finger the door. <laughs> Ooh. The huge get in there. doors are locked tight. Somebody uh, obviously wants to keep something out oh, or something in. You can't go up the path. Let me I give think it a shot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's head north. Let's head north. Good. <coughs> Better not have to climb those stairs again next time. Look, There's also intruder. like a little. Oh. Hold! How did you get up here, human? Merle! I <laughs> climbed the cliffs. That is not possible. No one has solved the cliffs of logic in several centuries. Oh. And if the cliffs were to be solved, it would certainly not be by a human. It's a coy way to compliment I, us for I buying the mean game. To trespass. Yes. I only wanted to visit this beautiful island. No visitors have been welcome on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain in years. Not since the Red and White Queens had spies in the guise of friendly visitors steal our island's sacred golden fleece. But we will not display such foolish trust again. 
You will have to answer to Lord Azure and Lady Ariel. They will determine what will be done with you. I can assure you, it will not be pleasant. I like how... Oh, go ahead, oh. Sean. So, so these guys, this island lost their, like, sacred treasure golden fleece. Yeah. The, the, the chess queens With lost something, too. Does anybody remember what it was? the clips of logic and reach the city of the winged ones? <laughs> no. Only the magic of clear thought, my lord. I meant no harm. The Cliffs of Logic. It is the sacred oracle's prophecy, Azure. Yes, Ariel. Hmm. It is lucky for you, human, that climbing the Cliffs of Logic is part of a prophecy that I cannot ignore. <laughs> we have just been ordered by Wazir Alhazred himself to dispose of any strangers that might land on our fair isle. But the prophecy would have a different fate befall you. Oh. The prophecy predicts that whosoever climbs the cliffs of logic will defeat the Minotaur. Oh, the Minotaur okay. has violated our sacred catacombs and eats our young in sacrifice. Our own daughter, Lady Celeste, was taken there only this morning as his most recently demanded offering. That's convenient. A dilemma, then. Whom shall I obey in regards to your fate? The Oracle or the Crown? But the since Al Hazrat did not Oracle. dictate how I was to dispose of intruders, and since you cannot possibly survive the catacombs, your imprisonment there should serve both purposes quite admirably. Well, there you go. I will not resist you in this, my lord. I shall do my best <laughs> to save your daughter. Thank you, King Information Dump. First, I must tell you that the catacombs are a labyrinth of rooms, a place of exceeding danger. You need many tools and clear wits to survive it. Azure, he must be allowed time to prepare for the task, if only in the slight chance that he could actually save our Celeste. Oh, very well. Intruder, my guards will take you to the beach. Prophesied hero or spy, any soldier must be granted time to prepare for battle. Jesus. Be warned. That's just part of their if culture. If you have the courage to actually return to the Isle of the Sacred Mountain and face your destiny, my guards will have orders to take you to the catacombs on sight. I understand, Lord Azure. If by some miracle you succeed, human, the prophecy grants you a visit with the Sacred Oracle. Her powers are mighty, her vision all-seeing. Many of our own citizens would be willing to risk certain death in the catacombs for a chance at a meeting with the Oracle. Oh, May that so thought give lucky. you the courage to return. <laughs> oh, I will return, Lady Ariel. You have my word. We're the most dumb, enthusiastic prince ever. Super yeah. enthusiastic. How did you fulfill the prophecy? I don't know, I climbed a mountain because I really want a girlfriend. <laughs> like, I I mean, I can understand trying, but this is just... Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, so, I'm pretty sure that means that we need some stuff if we're going to survive the catacombs. But it's not up there. All right. Wait, if we so, go up so, there again, we're going to get stuck. So we're supposed to be... So they're going to let us go? And then come back to be imprisoned? Yeah, they're going to let us oh. prep. So we're on, like, bail right now. But we, yeah, we're on bail, exactly. But we don't know what we're supposed to prep for. So... Right. Part of me thinks, like... Part of me thinks... Uh, we should progress everything else as far as we can. Mm. Uh, and then we're probably going to have to go in the labyrinth once and just see what's in there and then yeah. reincarnate to is better it, prepare. Isn't a minotaur on the cover of King's Quest VI? That might be uh, true. I can, I can I tell know. you. I can tell you right now. Look at this. Yes. Yes. I don't know oh, if that was there it is. Minotaur. I remember that picture. Well, it's actually not a bad picture. Oh. Alexander pulls out his magic map. I think we should trade some old lambs for new. I don't know about you, but... <clears throat> that sounds like a good plan. Isle of the Crown. Let's do it. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. <laughs> Whee! A 
think I so I spent the whole week thinking about this, guys. I spent the whole <laughs> week thinking about oh like God. how do we get through King's Quest Six? I have a couple other ideas too. So okay, cool. Let's, let's do let's do Old Lamp first. Now, now, Bill, I know that you spend all week thinking about most things, and I'm sure you have some sure. equally profound conclusions about what we should do. Yeah. Uh, what's in our inventory again? That's always well, my first stop. Well, we have a boring book, a brick, just a brick that we picked up and decided we wanted, a feather, a smelly flower, a flute, a lamp, an empty a bottle of milk, a rabbit's foot, a ring, a scarf, and a sentence. I bet we're gonna have to use the scarf on the Minotaur, because it's a whole... Oh, it's red! You're right! Oh, That's damn. Good. On point. Alright. I bet Ooh. we also need some string to get out of the lamp. God damn it! <laughs> God, we, we have a lamp! Okay, wait, wait, wait! Yep. You know what this means? You know what, what this means? As mm. a game designer? Mm -hmm. This means uh, that we need to use the lamp for something else. Okay. Oh, well, you're let's... right. Yeah, we have to use it first, and then we'll be able to get rid of it. Yeah. Here, let's 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 go up here. Let's do it. I, I want to talk. Hello. I will be right up. I want right. that clown back. Now, what can I do for you? Let me try to just touch what he was touching over here. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Thinking of Cosima. Alexander decides to leaf through one of the volumes of love poetry. Ooh. He reads, Thy hair, thy lips, thy beauteous face, and all thy studied female grace have studied. won for thee anon a place within this broken breast. What? Okay. What? That's fantastic. Something I, all I heard was broken breast, really. That's... Upon the shore the lilies bend, untouched oh, no, by going. worldly care, where shadow they her earthly bed, Oh, that she were not there. It's A B A B. Yikes. And another. <laughs> it's more. What was it when I looked at you? What power has chained me through and through and binds my heart with links so tight I cannot live without the sight of you? Also, my what nameless thing has captured me <laughs> and made me powerless to flee. What thing is it without a name that brings my mind air back the same to thee? The name of love cannot apply. <laughs> its commonness does not decry the haunted. I'm flipped around, turned upside down. <laughs> that my heart makes for you, that air my soul eternal makes for you. Hmm. A little close to home, that one. <laughs> Alexander returns the love poem book to the shelf. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God! Oh, take it, take it! Come here! <laughs> Alexander picks up the fallen page. It's oh, the love God. poem he particularly liked. It no. must have fallen he, out of the poetry Did he really book. particularly like it? Did he particularly like it? I see like that it? old volume has lost another page. You may keep it if you like, sir. You're I have glued a terrible the stubborn book thing seller. back in place two weather? times already. Like... I do rather like it. I... Thank oh. you, merchant. Oh, well, this this will do nicely in my collection of random things that I hoard while waiting for my girlfriend to happen to me somehow. Oh, this, is right. the okay. this is the prequel to Myst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone just kept giving away arbitrary crap on their island for no gain until everyone died and went bankrupt and two brothers just created other worlds. Yep, They're all go. like, uh, guys, those pages... Uh... Well, can use them again. Well, it seems I'll just give more things away. Alright. Oh, All right. Here is uh, very island style. I have an idea. Alright. Oh, oh, no, nothing's gonna happen. We still uh, need to deal with this abusive household. Here, here's my idea. Yeah. Uh, I think we can send messages via carrier pigeon. Oh! Do we have a pigeon? Uh, well, I think I, I think we we attracted a pigeon. I think oh. we've already got. Oh, I oh my God! Come here. Good day, Prince Alexander. Prince Alexander. Oh wait, 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 wait! <laughs> we 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 flute the bird, we gift the bird, the love poem, and amazingly, that's the answer. Let's see. Come here. 
Come here, bird. Let's look at this bird. The nightingale sings her crystalline song in the boughs of the old tree. The nightingale looks at Alexander curiously, as though waiting for something. What's he right. waiting for? Is it right. awful Can poetry? It... Okay, here we go. It's, One. It's awful poetry. All right. Alexander holds oh. out the poem to the nightingale. See that snake? Yeah. Oh, snake. To Alexander's surprise, the nightingale swoops down and grabs the page from his hand. What? How are the we nightingale to flies How did off towards that? the castle with the poem. Because it's Where a bird. Where might be taking it? <laughs> okay. All right. I, all That's right. what birds do, Bill. <laughs> even the, even the narrator says before? it is surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the narrator's like, I'm at a loss for words for what I'm seeing on the screen. Well, I've, you've certainly never seen that before. That's a new one. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Idea number two. All right. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember everything that was going on in the crazy garden where we got the iceberg lettuce. Yeah. But there was a bunch of stuff going on there. Mm -hmm. And one of the things had to do with babies. Like, baby, baby tears. Oh, and I got milk right here. And you got milk. You got milk. Oh, milk them up. Milk All them right. baby tears. Hold on, let me milk a baby really fast. All right. I'm going to get my magic map and then go shove milk into a, into a baby. Baby. <laughs> Alexander pulls out his magic map. Alexander pulls out his magic map. By the way, did you see Asher's comment? Alexander feels a strange on, uh, pulling sensation. No, I didn't. What do you say? He said, "Day nine's chat during mostly walking." Lamp, 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 lamp. Save, save. Lamp, lamp, lamp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought I thought you were gonna say it was like there are very few adventure games that I genuinely enjoy. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, let me, let me. Here you go. Here you go, baby. Baby. Babies. Alexander oh, gives go. one of the baby's tears a bottle of milk. Right? The other baby's tears seem to resent Alexander's gift oh. for some reason. Zero okay, can we get baby's tears now? Yes. Well, of course. As much as Alexander might wish to comfort the crying babies, he feels a little awkward about picking them up. He's rather new at this. Well, they're just heads. What about, um... The lamp. The lamp? Like a thing that you could. Alexander has no reason to gather tears in that lamp. Oh, lamp! <laughs> oh. Lamp! It knew exactly what we wanted. Here's what I hope is the case we take the milk bottle from the baby that we gave it to, because the babies drank it all, and then okay. we fill the empty milk bottle up with tears. Yeah, that makes sense, because otherwise we'd have to have something else that was what basically a bottle. The baby is not at all willing to let go of that milk bottle. Damn it. So we need what? a container. Okay, what about the tomato? Can you take a tomato? This is separate. But did we try to take a tomato? Those tomatoes are not quite ripe yet, and Alexander shouldn't pull them off the vine. What about this one? Those tomatoes oh. are not quite ripe Oh, there's yet, one on the ground. And Alexander shouldn't pull them off the vine. Here's one I on think the ground. That's, well, you could try it. Those tomatoes are not quite ripe yet, and Alexander, Alexander shouldn't pull, shouldn't them, off pull the them off the vine. Alexander picks a head of iceberg lettuce. What about the one that's brown? Oh, it's ye gads. It's already dead. Is that cold? <laughs> ye gads! It is cold. Hey, no. oh, what do you think you're doing there? Get your hands off me! Hey! Alexander picks up Rotten Tomato and puts him away. One never knows when one will need a Rotten Tomato. Literally, one never knows that. Because that's <laughs> I certainly not... never know that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that. Bill, do you know? I can't know that. Ooh, I, think, I think I might need to get off the screen because I I want to yeah. die. Yeah. That crying. That's that the audio designer. Here, here, let's get away from the crying and into the realm of sinus pains. It's a frog. The swamp is no place for extensive hands-on exploration. What? The monkeys. 
Did you try talking to the There's a tree the thing. There's a stick with its hands on its hips. Yeah, did you yeah. I didn't talk to it. Let me try to try to talk to it. Alexander sees no point in trying to talk to that stick in the swamp. Oh, it's a stick in the mud. Stick in the what, swamp. What about uh what about on the left? Stuck in the middle of the swamp. Hmm. Throw tomatoes at it. Yeah, that thing. Fallen log has a good-sized knot or bump. <laughs> My dear yeah. tree, is it true that your bark is worse than your bite? Oh yeah, straight pond of it. Oh no! Oh no! No! Can you take another bottle of milk? That bump on the yeah, log maybe. does not look particularly conversational to Alexander. Hmm. So we've got a bump on the log and a stick in the mud. Alexander. <laughs> Oh, did, did I take oh. it? Apparently, the dogwood tree like doesn't that. like Alexander standing that close. Did you get it? I did. Yes, you did get it. Can you? Can you? Wait, what did you get? Oh, a paper bottle. Oh, it just undoes it. Oh, damn it! <laughs> well, Babies, like the, you got the milk bottle weed or whatever the hell it is, right? So yeah. we can just get those as often as we want. Yeah. Milk. Okay, so maybe there's something else we need to use it so for. So we, we probably need yeah. a bottle. We need like an eyedropper for tears. Oh wait, over here was tears. the the bookworm the, with yeah. the bees. Do bees collect tears? God, this is the island of just painful sinus headaches. Just these noises. Mm, wow. Mm. Hi, gorgeous. Oh. What a luscious looking hunk of flesh you are. Ew. Uh, thank you. I guess. <laughs> Who are you? <gasps> How charming of you to pretend not to know. I'm oh, didn't we already do this? Of course. We might have died after we Oh, I think we died, yeah. Femme fatales. Know what I mean? Um, you know, I was hmm. just thinking it was time I there's found a, my 50th There's a loose uh, thread at the bottom husband. there. It oh. would be quite a horror. Can we do something I mean, with that? An honor maybe? to have me And maybe, guide. maybe save first? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just look yeah. at my beautiful weaving. I mean, I can't it's quite so hear you over the sexual so moaning that I'm not listening <laughs> I to. I apologize. With my little nest. Alright. Hey, don't touch that! Thread. Jeez. Oh! Oh, oh hell! Uh, grab the paper, quick! Get Alexander sees nothing of interest there. What the? What? Take Alexander it! Alexander investigates the intricate spider's web in the corner. The spider who lives there is not amused. Oh. You're done. Alexander feels the tiny pin prick of the spider's bite and the slow burning of her poison. <sighs> That was perfect! Oh god, I feel no self-efficacy. Don't let the vagina hit you. Why do you think they call her a widow? Oh. Hold on, I gotta get a tomato. Pick up tomato. Hey, what do you? Pick Ale up cabbage. Alexander. Alexander picks a head of. Alex. Alex. Alexander. Alex Yee. Yee. <clears throat> what? What's up with the table? Did we find something on the table? It's or the coffee table? It probably coughs when you get near it. Oh god. <laughs> Those snapdragons don't like Alexander getting so close. Well, I don't like them either. Those snapdragons don't like Alexander getting so close. To the right of the path is a little coffee table. Alexander is too far away from home to think about taking furniture back with him. <laughs> like we're crazy for clicking on everything. <laughs> yeah. Stick on Craigslist. Um, like free coffee table, just randomly there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk back. I'm gonna try to do the same thing that we did before, but I'm gonna save first because you can randomly die in this game. Save it out. A lot. Yeah. Mm, what? Uh, oh. The web. The web. Hey, don't touch that thread. 
Alexander snatches the strip of parchment, curious oh. to see what's written on it. Oh yeah. 50% of the time it works. Love. 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 Did you just the throw it away? Blows the scrap of paper from Alexander's hand, but he remembers what it said well enough. What? Okay. Someone's gonna have a scrap of paper problem, and we're gonna be like, "Whoa!" And they'll be like, "You win." Can we? Can you? Can we talk to the bookworm now? Maybe he. Alexander should read the books if he wants to get information from them. Um, I don't even know. I don't know what to do with that. Oh. I feel like we didn't gain anything. Hey, hands off the goods, there, son. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I feel like there's a there's a there's a bit that we do between the uh, bookworm and the book salesman. Wait, Sean, can if can you touch like books on a different stack or something? Yeah, let me let me so give that a shot. Could you give the bookworm the uh, page in the book? Never mind. Hey, hands off the goods, there, son. We, oh, I think we already sorry. lost the page of the book, Bill. We did? Yeah, we gave it to the yeah, Nightingale. We... Yeah. Oh, right, right, of course. Mm. Oh my god. Hey, hands <laughs> off the goods there, son. Gruesome. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, alright, I gotta get away from this island, because it's just... Alright, We should so... go as Alexander for Halloween. <laughs> Bill, what would that costume consist of? A giant cravat list. <laughs> I think that's the key bit, yeah. Alright, yeah. we, we have a rotten tomato, and I don't know what that Alexander would do. Alexander pulls out his magic map. I mean... We have this stinky flower, too. I don't know. We already used the bees, stinky flower. Bees like flowers. It, they so, do. They do like flowers. Often in the the later games, and I think this is one of the later games, uh, the the magic they're map pretty... lays out what Alexander assumes is the sorry. whole of the land sorry, of the sorry, Green Isles. The distinctive islands are separated from each other by the Deadly Sea. The Deadly Sea. Mm. They're pretty good at um, taking away items after you have finished using them. Yeah, so they don't clutter up your inventory. So the fact that we still have it suggests to me that there's somewhere else we could use it. Yeah. Because you also can't drop items. Alexander Correct. feels a strange pulling sensation. And it's yeah. not like it's a scrolling list. It's not like Skyrim where you're just holding tomatoes for no reason. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Let's talk to the bunny. Alexander isn't quite lonely enough to talk to a rabbit. I remember there just being nothing on this island. Woo Except for that awesome mm. animation. There's the... the bone arrow guy. A stone archer sits atop the lintel of the gate like a silent guardian. What if I just... The stone bow threw is a stone tightly drawn him. and fitted with a single stone arrow. Sean, we, we got brick that brick here? Fist. Yeah, I'm just gonna stone him. Throwing the brick at okay. the stone archer might scratch his marble, but it won't stop the archer's vigilant watch over the path. Can, Scarf. The, so you pointed out when we were here that um, the hole that the brick fell out of. Did we look at the hole? No. Let's. A gray brick wall runs to the east and west on either side of the path. You'd better catch it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cover the scarf. The stone archer the would undoubtedly shoot Alexander long before he managed to climb up the wall to try that. To try whatever that might be. The statue to the left of the camp <laughs> shows a man kneeling down with his spear as though waiting for a target. Can we... Oh, so there's two of them. Can we, um, can we throw a tomato at him? Let's try to throw a tomato. The stone archer would undoubtedly shoot Alexander long before he managed to climb up the wall to try that. God damn it. Man. Okay, what do we have? What is this book again? Alexander it's boring. Alexander is carrying a book from the bargain table in the book. My feeling is that we are not going to be able to get through there yet. I okay. Think, I think it'll be a little clearer when we have what we need, because I think we're going to need two items. One for the, uh, 
arrowmen and yeah. one for the spearmen. Oh, yeah. that could be. I'm I'm very confused right now. All right, so I'm gonna pull out my magic map. Alexander pulls out his magic map. <laughs> Maybe we have to throw a bunny at them and get the bunny killed. Yeah, it's actually just a gruesome puzzle. You just invite someone gullible nearby and push them in, and they get murdered with a single stone arrow. Alexander feels That's a strange pulling sensation. Uh, wasn't there a puzzle like that in seven? Oh, tons of. Oh yeah, like Maybe. the uh, where you're just randomly building a wagon, and then once it's built, it goes down and pushes that guy into lava, and we're like, Ooh! <laughs> oh, Sean, I thought you were talking about the movie Seven. Oh, oh, wait, there's, well, there's, there's, there was also some of that in Seven, yeah. Oh, wait, there's a sentence. What does it Alexander say again? Alexander is carrying, oddly enough, a sentence. It says, where are you going? What about the bookseller? He's probably literate. Yeah. I'm going to briefly stop by the castle because our bird... Del oh, wait. Did you, did you bring some stuff back, bird? The nightingale sings her crystalline song in the boughs of the old tree. The nightingale looks at Alexander song. curiously, as though waiting for something. I'm gonna... Okay, what are you waiting Although for, Bird? the Nightingale seems interested in Alexander, she would never allow him close enough to grab her. Alright, let me... What is that Nightingale interested you... Well, I guess we could send more messages. That's Maybe that's our mailbox to, to the princess. That's what I'm guessing, Bill. I think... All right. Okay. So we need we need some way to calm the snapdragons down, so we can get the hole in the wall, and then we can use the hole in wall next to this very clearly wall. Oh, you're right. <laughs> good. Good. How do you calm down a snapdragon? You. Uh, do we need like hush puppies or you, some other? Uh, <laughs> uh, hush puppies. You sing to it. You. Uh, flute. Uh, flute. Did we try to flute it? I didn't flute it. Let me. Let me. Let me walk over here. I'm gonna briefly clear out some areas we've been before. See if we can give a sentence to the guy, and then we're gonna there's take also, a break. There's also, there's um, also, like, there's Hello. the Tinder box we've never used. Oh, yeah. Can we can we light no. the lamp? I don't know what good that would do, but yeah. Alexander by hair and. Oh no. All right. Okay. Yeah. I skipped it. All right, so I'm going to give this guy the sentence, and if he doesn't say anything, we're going to save and take a break. Okay, all right. Merchant, would you be interested in this? Uh. No, thank you. I deal only in books. It's like a piece of a book. Like this book? Might I return this? Please, I had a hard enough time getting rid of that book in the first... Hey, what's the blue thing in our inventory? Hey, what is that? All that remains of the iceberg lettuce is a rapidly evaporating oh. puddle of green water. Oh, it melted. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna save, and when we come back, we're gonna try to figure out what the hell is going on in any way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, good. Oh, yep. good. We'll be back in a few, about three minutes. <laughs>